An initiative has been launched in Sweden to evolve the language so it's easier for migrants. Vi vi i vi är Sverige. Kompetens sitter inte i uttalet. Vi är Sverige. Well, to discuss this further, we're joined by political commentator and radio host John Gaunt and chief executive of the Ramadan Foundation, Mohammed Shafiq. Thank you both for coming here on uh, RT International now. Um, firstly, I have to ask you both, and we'll start with Mohammed. What do you think of the initiative? Well, I think it's important when we get people coming into our countries that they learn the language of that country. So if you're in the United Kingdom, it's English is absolutely essential. Um, and if you're in Sweden or France or whichever country, you've got to learn the language. If you want to get on, if you want to integrate, and you want to play a full part in a national life and progress yourself in your career and your family, help with school homework, all these issues are very, very important. And learning the language is absolutely essential. And if there's a way in which uh, you know, organizations, the government, uh, colleges, universities can use various initiatives to uh, speed up the process of people to learn English, uh, uh, the, the language, in this case, Sweden, uh, Swedish, then that, I think that's a very good thing. What about you, John? Because it's not just about learning well, the language, is it? They're, they're talking about evolving the language. No, we shouldn't evolve the language. Uh, the language of uh, the United Kingdom is English. People who want to come and live and work in our great tolerant country should learn to speak, read and write it. Same in Sweden as well. This is going down terribly with the people of Sweden, and rightly so. Any immigrant who wants to come into the country should be able to read, write, uh, as I say, and speak that language within two years. Otherwise, we should boot them out straight away. I mean, this idea that you should bend your language, language is always evolving anyway, uh, the natural consequence uh, of us developing. But to actually bend over backwards and say, we'll change our language for these people to fit in, I'll tell you what, I'd rather they actually did fit in. I'd rather they actually understood the customs of Sweden and the traditions. Because we've had some terrible problems uh, in Sweden and in Denmark and in Germany ever since Angela Merkel let in 1.2 million people uh, who were alien and had an alien culture uh, to the people of those countries. No, they should fit in. They should fit in or ship out. And uh, Sweden should be ashamed of themselves changing their language. What's wrong with their language? Be proud of it. Be proud of your traditions. Proud of your culture. But if you want to come and live in a great country like Sweden or the United Kingdom, then I'm sorry, you should learn our language and our culture and our tradition, and you should fit in or ship out. Mohammed, uh, John's got a point about uh, simplifying the language, really, in Sweden. Uh, you know, the, the majority that we've... We, we've had a poll here by the European Commission. You know, the majority are not happy that the language is being... Um, changed in order for those refugees to learn it? Refugee? Well, I think John and, uh, John and me agree. We both agree that learning the language of a country that you choose to make your home is absolutely essential. There's no debate about that. Um, how we do that and the process and the support that we give those refugees and migrants and immigrants who come into a particular country uh, is obviously something uh, important. We've got to support people when they're here, uh, give them the tools and give them the education to learn the culture, yeah, to learn the should, values, to learn the learn customs themselves. of a country. Why, 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 and why should the... Why why should the settled community pay? You want to come and live in Britain, you want to come and live in the USA, you want to come and live in Sweden, uh, then you should learn the language. It's not for me to pay, just like it's not for me to pay for translators. You obviously want to come, the people who want to come, the migrants, they obviously want to live in a better country than the hellhole they're escaping from, so they can pay their own way. I don't see why we should pay for it, and I don't see why the Swedish people should pay for it either. Fit in or ship out. Mohammed, why do you think well, it's necessary? Would, I... Mohammed, why do you think it's necessary for them to learn a different form of Swedish? How beneficial is that Ooh, actually precisely. going to be? 
Well, actually, I think, again, we've got to focus on the fact that many of these people are refugees. Uh, they've been torn from their home because of civil war and uh, the uh, barbaric way in ISIS are killing innocent people in Syria, uh, in Yemen, Al-Qaeda, and all these terrorist organizations that are operating uh, across the Middle East. And so they want to flee violence. And I'm uh, saying that if they come into a country, I, I mean, I, I don't disagree with what John is saying. We, we're on the same page. Learning the language is absolutely essential. Learning the culture, the customs, the values of a country that you want to make your own home is absolutely essential. Um, but, you know, eventually, once they learn English, they may contribute to society, they work, they pay into the taxation system and become vibrant members of society. So, uh, you know, investing in their education, investing in them, helping them learn the English, learn the culture, learn the values, I think benefits the whole nation uh, later on when they work and contribute to the society. But but that isn't what the Swedish government is suggesting or this university. What they're suggesting is change their culture, the Swedish culture. What they're suggesting is change the Swedish language. No, no, no. These people, and most of them are economic migrants anyway, they're coming to better themselves. So if they're coming to better themselves, they should fit in. No bending, no messing, no paying by the indigenous population. That's what's gone wrong with the UK. We've had this situation with Tony Blair, where all these people have come in. We've got people in our country who have been here for 30 or 40 years and haven't learned to speak English. You see them in hospitals. You see them in uh, doctors and dentists, where their young children or their grandchildren are having to translate for them. Well, I'm fed up of paying for all the translators in courts and hospitals and prisons. I'm sorry, learn our language. Because if you don't learn your, the language, as you say, my friend, you disadvantage yourself. But why should you be able to get away with it? Why should you be able to live separate lives to the rest of us? Fit in. No bending, no changing of our culture, no changing of our language. People should fit in with the country they want to go to. If I want to go and live in Spain and want to live there permanently, I would learn the language. I would find that difficult because I was never very good at languages, but I would do my best. Likewise, if I went to America, I would stop spelling colour with the letter U in it. I would fit in, and that's what they should do. All this nonsense, social engineering, it makes me want to vomit, and I'm sure most people in Sweden feel exactly the same. I see it's interesting, the only people who've taken up this nonsense are the university and the library. Nobody else will. Nobody else is going to do this. It's rubbish. Fit in. Mohammed, if we go back to the issue of the language, um... It is this, this, the point of changing the language that people have got an issue with. Um, mm. how, how can you justify that? And also, how can that be a, a benefit for those coming into the country? Do you think it will create resentment with the local population? Um, I, I don't know the exact uh, reasons why it's been done and how you can change a language. You know, I speak perfectly good English, and if you were to take mm. certain words and change them in the English language, then they wouldn't mean what they mean in the English language. And as I've said, I've been absolutely clear that if you want to progress in society, if you want to make a positive contribution um, to society, then you've got to learn the language in that country. And if this is a way to... Um, you know, help them learn in, uh, their Swedish, if it's a way to increase uh, the speed in which they learn that particular language, then that's a particularly good thing. But if it's something which is divisive and wrong, as we've seen uh, from the reaction from what John is saying, then that should be the case. I just want to say mm. the vast majority of refugees who come uh, from uh, various countries where they're fleeing violence are actually so keen that they want to get on and learn English they, uh, or the language in which they are residing in, and they want to make a positive contribution, and I think we should well Welcome that. OK, I'm going to uh, ask you just very quickly, John, to round up what you think of the new uh, move that Sweden are hoping to introduce. No, I don't think it is Sweden, is it? I think it's a few crackpots in the university, a few libtards, a few social justice warriors. I think they should shut up, put their dummies back in their mouth and concentrate on being Swedish. Sweden's a great country. It's a very tolerant country. It's allowed uh, refugees and all of these economic migrants in as well. It's for them to fit in, not for the Swedes to fit in with them. I mean, you know, and it's nice to say, there's still people in our great country, in the United Kingdom, who don't speak it. I don't like it when I go 
go into a corner shop and people speak in uh, Urdu or Hindu, I don't like it at all. If there's uh, other people there who can't speak those dialects, they should speak English. I don't like it when the Welsh do it. OK, John, Mohammed, Or in Gaelic speakers as well. Just quickly. Let's fit in. Let's all speak the same, same language. The language of the UK is English. The language of Sweden is Swedish. Mohammed, End quickly, of. give me your opinion. 20 seconds. Well, I just said learning, learning the language is absolutely essential and anything we can do to help people learn the language should be welcome and we should not demonise refugees. Brilliant. Demonize. OK, thank you both, John. How are we, we demonising refugees, asking them to speak the language of the country that's given them refuge? John, what thank you, you very about? much. Political what commentator and radio about? host Mohammed Shafiq, <laughs> Exe Chief Executive of Ramadan Foundation. Thank you both very much for coming on RT International. Thank you ever so thank much. You. Thank you.